and people read books all the time and they affix themselves to a certain parody or paradox or a certain old adage or or anything uh, that's a fad and then they lock themselves in like many people say that they get in a relationship and they have trouble because their love languages were different because they've seen the book they've read the book they've heard the audio and they think that it's their love language well i'm challenging you today that it's not your love language that's suffering it's in your communication what suffering is is you don't have the love you see love is a, is something that takes on patience you you, you know your affection your time a whole lot of other things that you must give in order to speak the love language see if you don't have love you can't speak the language other words the love language without the love is just merely languages and this is how we move about in the world so ask yourself or ask your significant other is it really the love language that we are misconstruing or is it that we really don't have the love to put forth because anything that you do that you have love for you will flow in communication that's what love is love is a complicated conversation or it can be a peaceful conversation but one thing for sure none of the language would take place if there's no love somebody's going to bail out